Hello friends, welcome back. We are going to have a new and exciting series here and that's Cognitive Computing. We are going to have a clear cut agenda and the series of these learning materials will help you in understanding Cognitive Computing. The agenda for the first session will include the foundation, the Cognitive Computing scenario as new generation computing scenario and we will go on to the next sessions with list of topics that I have clearly presented in the agenda. We will first understand the fundamentals in this session which will lead path for further learning. Let's first define. Cognitive computing in simple terms is nothing but a field of computer science and artificial intelligence that aims to create systems which are capable of mimicking human thought process. They are designed to understand, learn and interact with information in more like a humanly manner. Right? It is to more like humanly manner that we need to produce results. When we think of cognitive computing, it has to be more humanly and it has to be more interactive. That's the most important point we have to understand. The traditional computing systems follow specific rules and in instructions, but cognitive systems slightly differ. They use advanced algorithms, they use machine learning, deep learning, natural language processing, and they can interpret data recognize the patterns and make more informed decisions based on the context and the experience. They can analyze really a large volume of data and they can learn from it and they can adopt their responses over a period of time. And it is like how human learn and evolve. That's all. We are mimicking more of a human behavior. What are the factors that are governing the new computing era? There are many factors that govern but out of that I have presented you the highlighting factors which are really very important. We really generate a large volume of data. We are generating data in the format of messages, mails, video, audio, images and what not. We are generating a real huge volume of data. The second thing is the storage and the cost factors connected to the storage. I bought my first pen drive at the rate of 3.5k INR. 3.5k INR, it's very huge, way back in 2007. But now with the same money you can buy a 1TB pen drive. The cost of storage has come down and that's a major factor. And computing capabilities have improved tremendously as well. So it was i3, then i5, i7, now it's i9 and people are talking about further editions as well. The growth is really tremendous. The expectation and the capabilities to process the complex data is ever increasing. We always expect data to be processed faster, perfect and accurate. The increasing demand versus computing capacity is a major factor. More the requirements, more the evolution would be. And the research focus is also improving, which is a real encouraging factor. Many companies spend a lot of money, time and effort in terms of research towards improved computing. That's a real good thing. And dynamics in belief also is changing. What human can do, what machine can do is slightly vanishing. And instead people are thinking what can be done together. So these are all the factors that are governing new computing era. And the foundation of the cognitive computing is to be understood. Very simple. I already gave you the definition. Cognitive computing is all about enabling human to collaborate with machines. Yes, you are going to work with machines. It's all about the data. The context could be types of data, structured data, unstructured data, text, voice, images or anything. The cognitive computing machines are really non-traditional. They are not like traditional IT machines. They are different and they are better by miles. And it's going to get you more collaboration more effective and more evolutionary approach in terms of solving the problems. The basic principles are to be understood. Whenever you go into cognitive computing, three things should come in into your picture. Learn, model, generate hypothesis. Learning is the foremost thing. Cognitive system learns continuously and consistently. The system leverages data to understand a domain or a topic or a person or a challenge or anything. It can be anything. But based on the training and the observations from the large volume of data you are providing, it could be different as well, velocity, veracity, anything, it would be evolving, it would be learning. The learning happens from the feed that you give, it can be any amount of data. Next thing is model. This is a great step and a very important step. The system needs to create a model or a representation of a domain and assumptions are to be presented as well and these dictate what learning algorithms are used. Most importantly, understanding the context of how the data is getting fit into the model is a key factor for the cognitive system. And finally, hypothesis. This is a great view. Cognitive system clearly believes and trusts that there is no single correct answer. Yes, it's correct. The best answer is based on the data. And since it is based on data, it's highly probabilistic. A cognitive system assumes that there is no single correct answer as I already highlighted you. 
the most appropriate answer or the correct answer is based on the data so cognitive system is probabilistic and a cognitive system uses data to train test or to score a hypothesis it's a very important sequence that i have highlighted you learn model and generate hypothesis i hope it was clear and understandable how cognitive system is seen as a new generation computing option see people were drowning in the river and ocean earlier and now it's drowning in the data we are drowning in the data of different format shape and volume of data is what we are drowning in it's data drowning and it's all the insights that we are looking at we need to generate insights we need to generate insights through proper collaboration with the machine and most importantly the insights should be actionable insights we are in the world of technology and most importantly the technology has transformed our lives as well as industries the technological innovations have transformed the industries and the way individuals think and live their regular day to day life it's data everywhere and many organizations slowly started becoming data centric and now they pay more attention to the data the vari- the variety velocity veracity volume diversity all these from the data perspective is actually making the organizations think and they are trying to generate insights out of it and handling this much diverse data this much voluminous data is really very difficult and there is where we need to think and we need to go further it's an era where traditional techniques might not be really sufficient to understand the data and to generate insights out of it so cognitive computing is all about utilizing the traditional techniques with more innovative approaches in the algorithms and you are going to get more actionable insights so having said this clearly cognitive computing is well in its very early stages it will still evolve it's more about getting better results better insights and it still evolves so it's a combination of human as well as machine together it enables you to collaborate more with machines but in a better way so that's what cognitive computing is all about cognitive computing can be very well seen as a new generation solution and we are going to learn more about it let's learn more in the next session thank you